phone. Oh, Davy, just look what a mess you're making. Hello? Oh, he's in the barn. I'll have to call him just a minute. just been looking in on the Roberts family, and you can see they've been having some problems, communications problems. They encountered some real obstacles in trying to run their household and the business of the farm. Recognizing some of these problems, the Bell Telephone Companies a few years ago decided to make a thorough study of farm communications to see how they could be of greater help to the farmer and his family. We began by talking to farmers all across the nation, and we found that many encountered the same problems the Roberts did. Well, I'm always missing telephone calls when the wife's away. I waste a lot of time and money running back and forth to the house to make calls about farm prices, equipment, feed orders, and many other things. Sometimes I'm just too busy to leave what I'm doing to answer the phone. The farmer's wives, too, had their problems. I keep the records. And I'm always having to run outside and ask my husband questions. Well, with the boys and my husband tracking mud in every time to answer the telephone, I just can't seem to keep my house clean. It seems like every time I come out here to work with the eggs, the phone rings. There was something else that came to light during our survey of communication on the farm. A whole new idea brought up by the farmers themselves. Well. I've always wondered if there wasn't some way of hearing what's happening out in the yard while we're here in the house. We asked other farmers what they thought of this. I'd say that's a pretty good idea myself, especially during the farrowing season when the sow's liable to mash the new pigs. Well, yes. If I could hear what was going on in the yard, I could keep track of those kids. Our survey convinced us that the problem of communication on the farm was entirely different from that of any other business. For one thing, farms by their very nature are spread out. Someone has said that the average farmer walks over 150 miles a year, just between the house and the barn. This takes time, and time means money. In some seasons, you might even say it's priceless. By the time our study was finished, it became apparent that an entirely new system had to be developed to meet the special communication needs of the farmer and his family. Bell engineers went to work on the problem, designing new equipment, testing, adapting, redesigning, and testing again. Finally, they believed they had the answer. But the proof of the pudding is in the eating, and the system would have to be tested in actual use to see if it really did the job. Accordingly, the systems were installed in more than 100 farms. Farmers put it to work for over a year and reported to the telephone company just what they thought of it. 
Their suggestions help the company to make further improvements. And this system, the Farm Interphone, has finally developed, got the wholehearted approval of the farmers. Here are the components. The telephone instrument with push-to-talk bar and associated speaker, an outdoor loudspeaker, a small ringer, and an equipment box. Now let's see how it fits into the farm. Here's a typical layout of a general farm. Before the installation of the system, there was just a conventional phone in the kitchen. This phone call could be very important to the farmer, for the phone is his connection with his market and his suppliers, with the implement dealer, the seed dealer, the vet. But we may never know who was calling, for there was no one in the house to answer the call. Now let's install the new farm interphone system. Since this farmer spends much of his time in the barn and a great deal of time in the shop, we'll put phones with speakers in both locations. And we'll put a loudspeaker in the farm yard where it can be heard over most of the rest of the farm. Now the phone rings. Again, there is no one in the house. But as it happens, the farmer is in the barn. Hello. Oh, hi, Joe. Yeah, I'm glad you called. I've been trying to get in touch with you. Or take another example. The wife is in the garden when the phone rings. She hears the phone ring from the loudspeaker in the yard and goes to the house to answer the phone. But it turns out the phone is for her husband. She doesn't know where he is, so she simply calls him on the farm interphone. He's out in the barn. I'll get him for you. Telephone, Sam. Okay, I'll get it in the barn. Mr. Tate, Sam will be with you in just a minute. Well, that saved a lot of looking and calling around the farm, didn't it? Now, let's take a closer look and see exactly how that call was handled. When the wife found out the call was for her husband, she merely operated this button to hold the call and then turned this button to call her husband who was in the barn. Then she pressed down this bar and spoke into the phone. Telephone, Sam. Her voice was carried to every speaker location on the farm, the machine shed, the barn, and the loudspeaker in the yard. Telephone, Sam. Telephone, Sam. Telephone, Sam. When she released this bar, she could hear anyone answering over the speakers. Okay. I'll get it in the barn. You can see that the farm interphone will be useful any time the wife wants to call her husband. Sam? Will you be ready for dinner in about 15 minutes? Better make it 30 minutes and send Billy out here to help me. You can also see that the system is quite flexible and is really custom designed for every farm. Suppose this were a poultry farm, for example. In such a case, the farmer would spend most of his time around the poultry houses and would need phones and speakers here. Or suppose this were a hog breeder's farm. He would probably want a loudspeaker in the farrowing house and one in the shed. On a truck farm, well, I'm sure by now you can see the endless possibilities. It boils down to the fact that the system is farm designed to start off with and further is tailored to meet the requirements of the individual farm. Here's how the new system works on the Roberts farm. It saves the family literally miles of walking. Hello? Oh, yes, Mr. Johnson. Well... Well, I don't know. I'll have to ask Ed. Can you hang on a minute? Ed? Yeah? Mr. Johnson's on the phone and wants to know if you want that six tons of feed in bulk or bag. Well, you better make that about eight tons in bulk. And, honey, call the vet for me, will you? I got a pretty sick calf out here. Looks like bloat. Okay, I'll do that. Mr. Johnson, Ed says we'll need about eight tons bulk. That's right. Okay, thanks. Oh, Davy, will you butter the toast? Dr. James, this is Virginia Roberts. Yes, listen, Ed says we have a sick calf. Can you come over this morning? Oh, well, I don't know. I'll have to ask Ed. Can you hold on a minute? All right. Ed? Yeah? Listen, 
and Dr. James says he's got some other calls to make this morning. Well, maybe you better let me talk to him. Okay. Dr. James, Ed wants to talk to you. Hello, Doc. This calf's down. Yeah? Yeah, okay. Okay, see you in a little while. Thanks. We checked with other families to see how they used the system and how much time it saved them. Here are typical calls. Ernie? Yeah? The report's in from the lab on that chicken you sent in. They say it's not serious. That's good. Thanks. Jim? I'm in the barn. Nelson's on the phone and wants to know if you want to take your fertilizer on early order. Tell him yeah. Might as well save the money. Jean, are you there? Yes. While you're in town, will you pick up a fan belt for the tractor? Uh, just ask him at Willis Implement. He'll know what I want. All right. There's something I'd like to point out right here. You notice that on those calls, one person talked without touching the phone, or as we say, hands-free. You see, on farm interphone calls, it takes only the person making the call to operate the equipment. The other can talk from wherever he happens to be without stopping what he's doing. Or if you desire complete privacy, both can use the phone. Jim? Yeah? Can you pick up the phone just a minute? Sure, be right with you. You've seen the system in two of its important applications, handling of telephone calls and use for intercommunication. Now we come to the third feature of the system, its use as a monitor or watchdog. You can listen in on sounds from the various yard speaker areas. Oh. Four, four, eight, two, ten. Fifteen, two, four, six, and up there is eight. And three, four, six. Henry. Hmm? Is that pump still running? Let's see what's going on. The monitoring incidents you have just seen are only two of the many reported to us when the farmer was able to save livestock or avoid expensive repairs because the system alerted him that something was wrong on the farm. The advantages of the farm interphone system, the time saved, the steps saved, and the convenience convinced the farmers that it really met their communication needs. For example, here on a 200-acre truck farm in the far west, vegetables are a year-round crop. It's important for the farmer to keep in touch with the produce market. I used to go back and forth to the house, I'll bet you 20 times a day for phone calls. Then sometimes I'd miss an important call. I tell you, I've got enough new business already to more than pay for the system. And on this poultry farm in the southeast, they turn over about 80,000 broilers a year. Most of the daylight hours are spent working in and around the poultry houses. If you told me a year ago that I could save so many miles of walking every year, I don't think I'd have believed it. I know it adds up to plenty. Saves me a lot of time and trouble, too. And in the grain belt, a wheat farmer manages the farm and directs two hired hands. Keeps him pretty busy. My wife used to say, Ken, you ought to be twins to keep up with the farm. And you know, with this new system, it's almost like being two places at once. Why, I can keep up with the hands and take phone calls and work all at the same time. In the corn belt, they're fattening up prime beef most of the year. Much of a farmer's time is spent around the feedlots, feeding and loading. I wouldn't be without this system any more than I'd be without a mill to grind feed. Just yesterday, I got a long-distance call. 
shipped off a hundred head. I might have missed that sale if it hadn't been for this system. When the results were all in and added up, the telephone company was just as pleased as the farmers, for it meant we had done what we set out to do. We had a system especially designed for the unique needs of the farm. Not only did it save the farmer time and money, but also it made farm living that much more pleasant. And the farmers themselves had had a large part in the creation of the system, making it possible for the telephone company to provide a much needed business tool, a voice for the farm.